सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द माई यूट्यूब चैनल के एस ऑटोमेशन सो इन टूडे लेक्चर आई गो ना शेयर अबाउट हाउ टू ओपन हैडर ऑन इन रन टाइम विथ यूजिंग मैक्रो इन फैक्ट्री टॉक व्यू स्टूडियो सो इफ यू न्यू ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो हिट द लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नेबर मिस न्यू अपडेट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट In my previous video, I already told how to create display and how to do display settings. So you, I hope you already created. Click on display, and you can see here one one option of the duplicate. Duplicate means same display setting will be duplicate automatically. You can write header, header, and press on enter key. You can see here header, and right click, Control A, unwanted. polygon and button will be delete so click on delete right click display setting so you can see here size you can see here see here a specific size in pixel you you want to change this size because header size will be not 1080 it header size will be near about 100 or 150 so you can set according to you example 120 and uh, title bar will be deselect click on click on okay so header has been created here you can put a button so right click select button and select here you can see his style of the button you can choose you can choose border rest rest and beveled example rested and action in action what do you want to do example you want to when you will be press on this button you want to open animation animation display one animation one display not animation one display you can open any display which display you want to open from the header so double click on press action you can see here command wizard from command wizard click display and is display in display navigation you can see display open and run specify graphic display file click on it and file click on animation okay it is the other option i will be tell you i will create a video on on this topic click on finish and in app appearance you can write animation dash one and uh, you can change the journal style of the button what style back style of the button you can select transparent gradient or solid which you want four color means test color of the button back color means back color of the button pattern color means pattern color of the button and font means font color font of the button font of the button test example century century and select here size you can see here size you can choose any size which size you want and you can select bold italic underline or if you want to know more about so click on three dot one pop up will be open you can see font font style and size and strike out and underline click okay you can also image setting you can you can apply here box rule one box two box setting complete and three box setting complete box rule is a very good rule you can apply anywhere for learning purpose 
so one box setting has been completed two box setting has been completed let me sorry in the third block setting you can see image setting you can choose any image which type of image you want example image arrow but one thing and up appearance for up appearance you can write you can see here same as right appearance it will be same as right appearance like up appearance if you want change so check box will be deselect and you can change but for display animation you want you don't want to change disable appearance you can disable this button for from any tags or any expression click ok you can see here image and also arrow so right now I, I am going to deselect image click ok and one is example <coughs> one animation button is completed example 1 2 3 4 5 5 page 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 page select right select and you can select right select all here you can see a align top and you can see here space horizontal and also space space vertical what you want to change you want to change only <coughs> you want to change only text of button and also command of the button so text of the button how will be changed up appearance first command of the button will be changed second animation 2 so here only change will be animation 1 to 2 and also animation 2 in the text copy so ok and for animation for this animation for animation 3 display it will be changed 1 to 3 in in our appearance also change 1 to 3 ok display 4 it will be changed only 1 to 4 and app appearance 1 to 4 apply and for animation display 5 action also you can choose for practice right click and most recent use you can see here display open and run a specified display graphic file animation 5 ok finish and app appearance animation 5 okay it will be safe so one step has been completed step number two you know in initial condition initial condition display of the width uh, width and height of the display is width of the display is 1920 and height of the display is cool. 180 but in this case you if you created one separate header so you want to minus header header height to display height so right now header height is 120 so 1 100 it 1080 minus 120 how much 16 uh, 1080 minus 120 equal to 9 960 so here it will be 960 and okay one another things display setting here title bar will be deselect okay and save also for second animation display it will be changed 9 960 okay it will be safe 
animation display 3 right click display setting 960 ok save animation 4 right click display setting 960 ok save display number 5 right click display setting 960 it will be also safe now step number two has been completed in its it's step number three what you want to do you want to create a macro so what is the macro <clears throat> so right click click on new so double click on macro you can see here graphic and graphic in the graphic navigation display open open and run specify graphic display file you can choose header okay most important thing you want to choose pos window position where which position it will header will be open you can open top of right corner and also you can open top left top left corner bottom bottom left corner bottom right corner center of screen center of top screen center of bottom screen and you can see multi 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 option you can see center of left side center of right side Oh, dock on top. So you want to select dock on dock to top and finish. Wow, very nice. And which display you want to open in initial? Double click. Example, you want to open from micro initial display. Click on most recent use display and right click. What you will what you want to do? Click example, you want to open animation one. In my case, animation one, you can open any display okay wow very nice finish and it will be close you can write here client startup client startup so client has been created sorry macro has been created so what you want to do in step number three in step number three you want to create runtime client Click on create a factory talk view SE configuration file. Click on it and click on you can write here client file name. Start client 1. Click on continue. Local station, not topic. Hai na. Connect the application. You can connect with you can connect any application, which application you want to in which application you want to open header. So click on it. Step number you can use here box rule initial language. So initial language will be which language will be here initial language. And is initial display you want you don't want to select here because you already select in the macro initial display select you can see startup macro save and run so you can see runtime client in progress You can see client is opening. It is a 
you can see display is open with header and with initial display initial first display animation display why is it is open because of in the macro i selected and why initial display is open because in the macro i se i select in the macro first initial display is animation one and also header header so you absorb header and display not looking any different if you have multiple button or multiple screen you can choose header if you want to open any one screen to any other screen so without wasting time you can directly open from the header example animation 5 animation 4 so thank you for watching my video if you learn from my video so please share your friends and uh, keep learning keep going